This hotly contested races was called late last night. State Senator Jen Kiggins won Virginia's second congressional district. Casey Baylor joins us now from Virginia Beach. So Casey, when Representative Elaine Luria conceded, just a little more than half of the vote was in. And Ashley, now this morning, 99% of precincts are reporting and results um, have Republican State Senator Jen Kiggins with about 52% of the votes here in the second district. Now the Senate, the state senator, now Congresswoman elect, focused her campaign on the economy, inflation and the crisis at the border. Last night, she thanked voters, her family and even incumbent Elaine Loria for a hard, hard fought race. Kiggins says she looks to represent everyone in the second district. For those of you who didn't vote for me, you know, I really look forward to representing you in the halls of Congress as well. And I look forward to earning your respect and to earning your support over the next few months. Incumbent Elaine Loria was first elected to Congress in 2018. She centered her campaign on veteran and military issues, abortion, and her work on the January 6th House Committee. She called Kiggins to concede last night and had this message about the future of the 2nd District. I just got off the phone. I called to congratulate uh, Jen Kiggins on a hard-fought race to wish her the best of luck. No, please don't boo, because the success of this district depends on her success. And uh, this was a hard-fought race. She won this election. And Loria says she will work with Kiggins to ensure a smooth transition of power. And Kiggins says she is now ready to get to work. We're live here in Virginia Beach. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Okay, thank you, Casey. And the National Republican Congressional Committee is reacting to Kiggins' win. The chairman said in part, quote, Jen will deliver for Virginians by ending wasteful government spending, protecting parental rights, and keeping communities safe. No word yet from the Democratic National Committee. Congresswoman-elect Kiggins is just one of the wins for Republicans last night. This is where the balance of power hangs in the House. Republicans are in the lead with 199 seats as things stand right now at 6 to 5 in the morning. Democrats have 172 seats right now. But a party needs 218 to get a majority, so still more votes to be cast there, or excuse me, votes to be counted there and elections to be called. Now, when it comes to the U.S. Senate and balance in power there, Democrats and Republicans neck and neck with 48 seats each right now. If both parties end with an equal number of senators, then Democrats will control the chamber with Vice President Kamala Harris's tie-breaking vote. Representative Ted Budd defeated Democrat Sherry Beasley to win North Carolina's open Senate seat. It's a critical win for Republicans, with the GOP controlling both of North Carolina's Senate seats. Budd's campaign was bolstered by endorsements from former President Trump and Senator Ted Cruz. Now, results in several key races were called while you slept. ABC's Justin Finch is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Good morning. Control of Congress hangs in the balance with several major races remaining close. A major win overnight. ABC News projecting Democrat John Fetterman as the winner of Pennsylvania's open Senate seat. I'll be the next U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania pickup seen as key for Democrats in a battle for control of the Senate chamber. Candidates in other key Senate races still hopeful they will pull out wins. We always knew that this race would be close. Senate Democrat Raphael Warnock locked in a neck and neck race for re-election against Republican challenger Herschel Walker. If you can hang in, hang in there a little bit longer. And exit polling shows young voters have been decisive in this election, overwhelmingly backing Democrat candidates in House races and largely choosing abortion over the economy as their top issue. And in that crucial Georgia Senate race, they're backing Democrat Raphael Warnock. On Capitol Hill, I'm Justin Finch, ABC News. Okay, Justin, thanks for that. Now, you might be wondering why some local and national races have not been called. Well, we asked the chairman of the Virginia Beach Electoral Board that question. He said some results may not be finalized until next week. So between the absentee ballots to be received and plus the provisional ballots, uh, you know, the, 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 the tabulation will not be completed uh, at least for till next week. Until every ballot is counted, results aren't finalized, but sometimes races are called on election night when there is a clear winner.